What is up, y'all? So, summer is around the corner, which means host families are gonna be looking for a lot of au pairs. Because August and September is the time where host families get a lot of au pairs coming into this country. There's always a big amount of au pairs coming in, or maybe it's just my agency. During summer or even before summer, meaning like from May, June, July, host families start looking for au pairs to come at the end of the summer break. That way, when the kids go back to school, they have an au pair, the au pair understands the schedule, knows the routine, that whole thing. And so I decided to bring this au pair list to the top of the pile. What do I mean? I released a video, at the end of a video I was talking about, well in the beginning of the video I was talking about how to make a good impression like video, how to make a first video for your profile, that whole thing. And then at the end of it I gave out a free au pair checklist. Now this video is basically explaining that free au pair checklist, number one. Number two, it's at the bottom of the pile because I, I think I released it like two years ago. There are definitely au pairs that use it that have come and even gone home. Some of them are wrapping up their second here and so I thought I would bring it to the top of the pile to help the newbies that have found my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you just got here, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. The first part of this au pair checklist is basically the introduction. Like, where do you want to au pair? What agency do you want to go with? What country you want to go to? What do you need to become an au pair? It answers all those questions and like how many hours you need to become an au pair. Now this checklist, I tried my best to make it as detailed as I could be. You can literally go through it and check it off, check it off, check it off. Like step one, get your J1 visa, check, 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 check. Now this is definitely free free.com it is a free checklist and stick around because i'm going to tell you at the end where you can go to get it the second part of this whole checklist thing is like the whole process meaning how to make your profile look pretty how to look um, attractive to host families uh, what to expect when they reach out to you how to write your letter properly how to um the video form i think i even spoke about like dressing in the in the checklist i stand to be corrected but you'll see there's a part where next to it it's gonna be like okay when the host family reach out to me check you know i literally put boxes on the left hand side so you can tick as you go that way you know you are done this is gonna help you from when you decide to become an au pair to when you get onto the plane and then when you arrive here there's other stuff there's a whole nother checklist for that there's like a whole nother world but this is specifically for people who are starting their journey or the process and so as i said to you in the middle it's going to be pictures and one of the tips i always say is when you're taking pictures for um, your au pair profile even if you have kids make sure the first picture they see is like your beautiful smile you can have kids with you you can have people in the picture but make sure they know who you are they're not like wait who's the au pair here there's like you and your two friends and they're like wait where's the au pair here which one is which then they must look at your other pictures have a picture of you yourself smiling or if you have kids like have your face up not like this that's not the first picture you want to see let them see your beautiful smile your kind eyes all that and then you can have like the kids and the babies but make sure all your pictures are clean the background is clean don't be like sitting like this i've seen some sloppy or pair pictures you don't want that because instantly the first impression they're going to be like this girl couldn't even tidy up her background if you're standing by a mirror make sure the mirror is clean at the back of you or stuff like that don't just be like oh i'm just going to post this picture and just get a host family because they look at you. they're gonna judge you the middle part is that and then the ending part is like a j1 visa what to expect as i said earlier i also have videos for that in the how to become an au okay pair checklist i will actually link it on the screen wherever wherever that link is on the screen i will link the j1 visa interview questions i need to do an updated one so make sure you subscribe because i'm planning on doing an updated j1 visa thing because the one i did was before the pandemic and now i've been speaking to a lot of our peers who have gone for their j1 visa and like just asking them like what has been your questions what and it's like not change change it's a bit different and there's new ones because of the whole pandemic questions and those things so if you subscribe and your notifications are on you will know when i released it and then this one is also like that this part of it is like when to pack what to pack what to take i will give you a tip for those who may have not gotten my checklist or are packing and feel like i don't need it yet listen packing i always say 
Take your favorite quotes, don't bring too many quotes. Take your favorite quotes for that season and then take a lot of your favorite snacks. Especially if you come from South Africa or Brazil because the prices for these snacks here are crazy. Like you, you're gonna see for yourself. So bring a lot of snacks, bring your toiletries, bring things you really like and you know you're gonna miss. But clothes, you can always buy clothes. Like you can buy clothes, you can buy jeans, you can buy shorts, you can, you can get them here. So don't waste your space. You know, that's just the tip in this video. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Do not forget, as I said earlier, to like. Come into the comment section and tell me or let me know when are you leaving or how are you leaving or which agency you wanna go with. And then lastly, to download the OK Checklist, I am gonna put the link in the description and you can go on there and you can, you can download it for yourself. Or if you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, just let me know and I will work something out for you, a Zoom, because I've been helping quite a few host families um, and I've also helped a few au pairs with finding matches. Well, not even just with finding matches, with giving them advice, like simple as that. Just giving them advice, getting on the phone, getting on a Zoom call and just helping them create their profile or helping them make their profile look more attractive to their host family. And so if maybe that's something you'd be interested in, DM a girl or come, Come below and let me know and we can work something out and I would love to help you. Anyway, once again, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.